Hello, and welcome to Book 5, Chapter 9 of You Should Be Reading. Today, today I'd like to talk to you about The Librarians and the Lost Lamp by Greg Cox. Now, Greg Cox is a an author who has done a lot of movie and television tie-in novels over the years. He's quite good at it. Um, <clears throat> he's actually done, where is it, um, uh, He's done movie novelizations of Godzilla, Man of Steel, The Dark Knight Rises, Ghost Rider, Daredevil, Death Defying Acts, and the first three Underworld movies, as well as books and stories based on such popular series as Alias, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, CSI, Crime Scene Investigation, uh, Farscape, The 4400 Leverage, Reese, Kingdom Falling, Roswell, Star Trek, Warehouse 13, Xena Warrior Princess, and The X-Files. Well, well, well. He's a little busy. And he's done one now for the librarians, which is really cool. Now, for those of you out there who like uh, the librarian movies and the librarian's television show, this book is right up your alley. It is basically a movie and an episode of the TV series mushed together into one story. Because the story follows Flynn Carson and Dr. Uh, Mastery, I believe. Where is it? Do, 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 do. Uh, she, her name is not there. Uh, let's see now. Do, uh, Sheeran. Sheeran Mastery. Um, her and uh, she's a director of antiquities at a museum in Baghdad. And Flynn and her are on the run from the 40s. Which are basically the 40 Thieves, or, or the latest incarnation of the 40 Thieves. Uh, a criminal organization with ties to the supernatural world. And <clears throat> it's their job to get to the lamp of Aladdin before the 40 gets there. To make sure it never falls into their hands. Because if it falls into their hands, the genie that's inside it can uh, grant wishes. Naturally, that would be a problem. But there's also the fact that the more wishes that are granted, the weaker the genie's prison is going to become. And once the prison is no longer there, the genie will break free and be free to wreak havoc on the world, which wouldn't be good. So it's Flynn's job to uh, find that by following old myths and legends of Scheherazade, the uh, wonderful woman from A Thousand and One Tales, as well as... Um, there are clues towards, uh, Solomon in this one, and Sinbad and Alibaba, but neat, neatly enough, this particular story, Flynn's story anyways, in this one has to happen after the second movie, at least, possibly the third, but at least the second movie, because in the second movie, he goes to King Solomon's Mines, and part of the clues to find Scheherazade's tomb is that it's it's so far this way from King Solomon's mines, and Flynn's been there, so he knows the exact location of those mines to be able to figure that out. On the other side of the coin is the story of the librarians here. Uh, Eve Baird, Jacob Stone, Cassandra Killian, Ezekiel Jones, and Jenkins, who have to deal with the lamp resurfacing, and the Forty resurfacing as well, after so many years. <clears throat> uh, they're in Vegas, uh, doing all this fun stuff when uh, things start happening and the lamp is uh, found and whatnot. It's kind of interesting and kind of neat. Um, I like the, the little delves into history and whatnot that they make in the show and the movie as well as the book because they, they talk about some interesting and neat things. It's quite uh, quite good. So if any of you out there are fans of the movies and the TV show, pick this up. It is a very light uh, read, too. I breezed through this in about three days, two or three days, because after reading How Few Remain, I needed something a little more light and fluffy, a little uh, something of a uh, palate cleanser, so I picked this one up, um, and I decided to read it, and it was good. Oh, it was so good. <laughs> so, yes, that's going to be it for this episode of You Should Be Reading. As always, if you like what I'm doing, please give that like button a tap. 
give that subscribe button a tap as well if you haven't already so you can be kept surprised of when I do new videos and throw a comment in the comment section. Uh, do you have any other tie-in movies or tie-in novels that you think I might like to read? Um, please throw those comments in the comment section. Let's get a discussion going. Let me, let me, let me see what your suggestions might be. Uh, so do all that, my friends. And until next time, remember, you should be reading The Librarians and the Lost Lamp by Greg Cox. And I'll see you next time.